right now with Senate Homeland and Government Affairs Committee member, Senate Foreign Relations Committee member, and Ohio Senator Rob Portman. Senator, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very hey, much for Maria. joining us. So the Always president has on. asked for $2.5 billion in, in supplemental money. Uh, Kevin McCarthy said yesterday maybe $4 billion. The president said he'll take whatever he can get. How do you come up with this number? How, how do you know what number is right? Well, we had to take the politics out of it first. So you have Democrats criticizing the president uh, for the $2.5 billion and then coming up with numbers that have no basis in fact. So we need to figure out what we need and, and we'll do it. The president was smart, in my view, to have that press conference last night to talk directly to the American people. I'm really glad he chose Vice President Pence uh, to lead this because it's a cross-agency issue. You know, you got HHS and NIH and CDC and the State Department and DHS and so on. So it's, it's good to have him in charge. And, in terms of the funding, uh, we need to provide what's needed, and that's what the president wants. Right. And so what are the most important needs right now? Because I know that we are in need of, for example, testing kits. The head of yep. the NIH said that we need testing kits. We don't have enough of them. And I know that there are, just from my own sources, spoken with a, num a number of hospital executives who tell me that they are in desperate need of masks and plastic gloves that are made in China. But now China says, no, we're not sending them because we need them here. And then yep. there's the prescription drug situation, where 70 percent of our drugs generics and prescriptions come from China and India. Yeah, have, have some ingredient that comes, comes from there. So I talked to the uh, Ohio folks yesterday, and we've been staying in touch with them. And you're right. Uh, every state would like to have some more funding to help be better prepared. Uh, in the case of Ohio, our hospitals are, are you know, doing what they should be doing, working together already. But they are looking for the federal government for some help. Best practices, among other things. Also, just getting moving on the antiviral uh, vaccine as quickly as possible as a federal rule. So we had to add all that up and, you know, make sure there's a basis for it, but come up with the right number and ensure that we'll continue to do everything we can to try to stop this. I do think the administration's done a good job. And again, I think playing politics with it is the worst thing we could do. Well, certainly when the president first restricted travel to China, he was criticized, but that was obviously was. the right call in yep. retrospect to try to try to stem this. But Senator, I got to ask you about a and comment we did from it, you. And we did it early, Maria. And we, you we did, did it very it early. early. I know that. Yeah, the president did. The first did. thing he did was restrict the travel. Yep. And that probably saved a lot of, uh, you know, significant issues because. No question about it. Obviously, yep. other people would have been coming in which who, who were exposed. I got to get to Marco yeah. Rubio's comments in a Korea, moment absolutely. about China. But first, let's yes. talk about your bill that you're introducing addressing Chinese theft of U.S. research and intellectual property. You did extensive yeah. research about how American taxpayers have been unwittingly funding China's military over the past few decades without consequence. Tell us about that. Yeah. Maria, this is shocking stuff. We spent a year studying this in the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations and found out that China has been systematically taking our research, often paid for by U.S. taxpayer dollars, and using it for their own military and economic rise over the past couple decades. I mean, this is, this is terrible stuff that's been going on. And frankly, we've been asleep at the switch until recently. Uh, so we're working with the Trump administration to tighten it up at every level, keeping people out of the country who want to do this, so giving state the authority they need to keep the bad actors out, which the State Department has asked for, but also going to our federal uh, institutions like NIH, uh, like the National Science Foundation, like the Department of Energy that provide a lot of this money to the universities and other research organizations, saying you've got to tighten things up. You've got to know where the money is going and be more transparent. But also our universities need to be more transparent, need to report this funding. This issue of Dr. Lieber you've probably followed, who is a professor at Harvard, who is alleged by the FBI of taking 50 grand a month, 150,000 bucks for living expenses, a $1.5 million lab in China, and not reporting any of it. Uh, they were able to get him on lying to the FBI, but frankly, there's no criminal statute there. So we have a new criminal law in place also for defrauding, really defrauding the taxpayer and the American government by taking this money and then having this research go to China. So. We need this uh, new legislation badly, and we're hoping it can be bipartisan, and we hope that we can get it passed into law quickly. This is unbelievable, Senator. And not only that, but what about all these proposals to have the thrift fund, which is $500 billion in assets under management. This thrift fund is basically the 401k money for military past and present. And now this proposal to have 10% of that money, $50 billion, mimic the MSCI index, which, of course, is a whole host mm -hmm. of Chinese companies. Some of those yeah. companies are Sanctioned. Other, some of those companies are building weaponry for the Chinese military, which perhaps could be used against American companies. We want our military yeah. to invest in this. Say what? Yeah. 
bad, bad idea. By the way, a lot of them are heavily subsidized, too, uh, and uh, some may be state-owned enterprises as well, so that's not fair either. And, you know, look, we, we, we've got to have a relationship with China. We, we want one. Uh, they're the second largest economy in the world. Yeah. Uh, soon will be the, some point we'll be the first largest economy in the world. It's a huge country. But we can't allow this to continue. It's not sustainable. And, and, they've, and got so, the, they've got the World Intellectual Property Organization in early March to elect a new yep. director general for a six-year term. China wants their person uh, to yep. win that as well, running this U.N. agency. Yeah, we need to be more engaged with, with those uh, standard-setting entities because this is about the future. What will the standards be, particularly with regard to technology? We want to be sure it continues to be. You know, U.S., Europe, Japan, uh, other countries leading that. So, so, so these, yeah. these are all issues that have to be addressed. So real quick, Senator, before you go, Marco Rubio, your colleague in the Senate, says China is concocting plans to paralyze the U.S. society before any conflict. Mar Marco Rubio says we've never faced that sort of vulnerability in the backbone of our country and that the bottom line is imagine if on the eve or on the verge of a conflict we're aware of their ability or demonstrate their ability to deny a significant number of Americans access to their banking information, their telecom, their internet connectivity, the mass transit system. Incredible how connected we are to China and rely, and how much we're reliant on them. Yeah, this is why the Huawei issue is so important, because if other countries that we um, have a relationship with, like the UK, the so-called Five Eyes Agreement, we're providing intelligence and so on, use Huawei, it's a real problem for us. Yeah. So we, we, have, we have to be clear-eyed about this, Maria. And again, yeah. we want to have a good relationship, but it's not sustainable in this current Understood. form. Understood. we got to stop the you. cheating, stop the stealing of the research. Thanks, Thank Maria. you so much, Senator. Senator Portman, we'll Always be right back.